It's been a while since we last rebuilt a landing page and over the past few days I have been deep into some time consuming print texting work as well. So this weekend I wanted to take on something light and fun. While scrolling through Twitter I came across this post from Gsap showcasing this incredible website. The moment you open it you are greeted with a stunning landing page reveal animation featuring a video transition and sleek text animations especially that cool logo transformation at the bottom. I figured recreating this would be the perfect laid back challenge. I was looking for so I decided to build the same landing page animation using HTML, CSS and Gsap. For pro members, I've also shared a Next.js version that's fully responsive. In today's video, I'll walk you through the process of creating this awesome landing page animation primarily using CSS clip paths. If you find this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more. If you want to access the source code, you can check out the pro membership via the link in the description. All right, let's jump into the code. For this landing page, we need a main wrapper called hero which will hold all our key elements. Inside the hero section, I'll start by adding a progress bar. It will have a loading text and a counter which I'll wrap inside a span element. Later, we'll update this dynamically using Gsap. Next, I'll add a container for the video. You can directly place the video inside the hero section, but wrapping it inside a video container gives us more control over animations such as animating clip path for the reveal effect. Inside this container, I'll add a video element that loops and remains muted. Moving on, I'll add a navbar and a footer. For now, I'm just using placeholder text, but you can replace it with anchor elements later. Inside the nav, I've added two circular shapes to match the look of the original website. Next, we have the header. Here, I'll add three h1 elements and a paragraph element. You'll notice I have wrapped the text inside span elements. This will help us create a smooth reveal animation using clip path. I'll do the same for the coordinates, wrapping the content inside span elements. I'll explain why this is important when we get to the CSS section. Finally, I'll add a logo. For the logo animation, I'll break the characters into individual divs, each containing an h1 tag. We could use a text splitting library, but for this tutorial, a manual approach will keep things simple. To animate the letters, I'll apply the animout class to the middle characters. These will move out during the page reveal animation. For the last character, which is a dot, I have given it a unique class. Later, we'll shift it beside the first character using Gsap. And that's all for the HTML structure. Let's move on to styling. First, I'll reset the default styles to ensure a clean and consistent layout. I'll remove margins, padding, and set box sizing to border box. For the body, I'm using a modern font and setting a neutral background color. Next, I'll style the text elements. The paragraphs will have a small font size, uppercase letters, and smooth rendering for a sharp, polished look. Now, let's focus on the hero section. This section will take up the full screen and have a dark background to match the look of the original website. It's set up as a flex container, allowing us to position elements neatly across the page. To create a page reveal effect, I'm applying a clip path mask that will animate on load, revealing the landing page in a smooth motion. Moving on to the progress bar, it is placed near the left center of the screen and contains a loading text and a counter. The text color is a strong yellow to keep it visually striking, just same as the original website. Next, let's style the video container. This sits at the center of the screen, covering the entire width and height. The clip path effect is also applied here, allowing us to animate the shape dynamically as the video reveals itself. Now let's structure the navigation and footer. Both elements span across the screen, positioned at the top and bottom. Next, we have the header section. This consists of three stacked lines of text placed at the center of the screen.
to create the animation effect i have wrapped each text line inside a span element we'll apply clip path mask on the parent elements so we can animate the text appear from behind the mask creating a seamless entrance animation The coordinate section is aligned to the left, matching the placement of the progress bar. Just like the header, the text inside is wrapped in spans, allowing for a smooth ripple effect. Finally, let's work on the logo animation. The logo is positioned at the bottom center. Each character inside the logo will animate in separately using the clip path masking technique. Instead of animating each letter individually, we are applying the effect to the entrance text block, making it look like the text emerging from behind the mask. I have set their position to relative because we'll be animating their transform values using GSAP. I have also set will change transform to optimize them for animations. To make the page responsive, I let just the layout for smaller screens. The text size will scale down, the progress bar will shift left and some elements like the loading label will be hidden for a cleaner mobile view. And that's all for the styling. Now let's move on to JavaScript where we'll bring these animations to life. First, I'm importing GSAP and registering custom ease which allows us to create a smooth and natural easing curve. This helps us make the animations feel more refined and controlled. Then I'll define a custom easing curve which will give the movements a slightly slow start and finish with a fluid acceleration. Now, before the animation begins, I need to set the initial state of the video container so that it starts off scaled down to zero and rotate it slightly. This makes sure that when it animates in, it will scale up smoothly while rotating into place creating a more dynamic entrance. Next, the first movement expands the hero section slightly, making the page start opening up. At this stage, the clip path stretches only up to 25% of the screen width, keeping the opening still narrow. As the animation begins, the left side starts expanding outward. The mask gradually stretches from 0% width to 25% width, making the page slowly unfold. Once the first movement is complete, the clip path expands fully from left to right. The horizontal band that was initially small now stretches across the entire screen making the content more visible. Meanwhile, using the onstart callback, the progress counter also increases smoothly counting from 0 to 100. After the initial expansion, the next movement widens the clip path completely across the screen. This makes the previously narrow strip grow into a full width opening as if the page is being stretched from the sides. At this point, the progress bar reaches 100%, signaling that the reveal is about to be completed. Once the clip path is fully expanded across the width, it now stretches vertically as well, revealing the entire screen. This transition makes it look as though the page is unfolding from the middle outward in a seamless reveal effect. At the same time, the video scales up from its smaller, rotated state back to the full size and correct alignment. Also, the progress bar fades out as it is no longer needed. When the full page now visible, we move on to the logo animation. First, 
we will shift the logo to the left aligning with its final position. Also, the middle letters of the logo slide downward giving a smooth exit animation. At the same time, the final character, a dot, moves leftward and settles next to the first letter, completing the animation. After that, the header text and coordinates animate in. Since each text element inside the header and coordinates section is wrapped inside a span, we can animate them smoothly from below. This makes it look like the text is emerging from behind a mask rather than simply appearing on the screen. Each line of text rises into view in a staggered motion, making the animation feel more fluid and dynamic. And that was it. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.